All right, so today we're going to talk about, we're going to do some more shopping today. This, but we have monetary incentives. All right, our first blank is monetary incentives. Stores frequently offer shoppers a monetary incentive for a financial reason to buy. So they're trying to motivate shoppers to spend their money at their store. One type of monetary incentive is a sale, which is an item offered at a discounted price. Another type of monetary incentive is a rebate, which is a partial return or refund on an amount paid. Another type of monetary incentive is a coupon. A voucher timeliness user to a cash refund. So a percent off, a lower amount off, on all these steps. Let's look at our first example. Robin buys a pair of shoes that costs fifty dollars. She has a coupon for twenty five percent off. What is the cost of the shoes after the coupon is applied? So they cost this amount, which is 100% of the cost, right? So we're taking 25% off. So we're paying, instead of 100%, we're now paying 75%, okay? So just like yesterday, we're gonna convert our percent to a decimal, but we're paying 75%. So 75% is the decimal, and we're just gonna multiply. And what did I give you? You got it, $37.50. That's the cost of the shoes. Are we good? Questions? All right, in example number two, we're going to be comparing which one is the better bargain. Um, so determine the final price for the two bags after each incentive is applied. So when we're talking about better bargain, we're looking for what? The cheaper, the cheapest price, right? We want to pay the least amount of money. All right, so we have chow for cats, cat food. It's a 10 pound bag, $14.98. It's buy one, get one half off. And then over here we have cat eats cat food. Another 10 pound bag. It both costs $14.98, but this one is 20% off the regular price. Mm -hmm. So we are going to buy two. So if we buy one, that's what? $14.98. We buy two, it's half off of $14.98. <coughs> so what is $14.98? And then what do we do to get those prices? Yeah, and that is yeah, twenty-two forty-seven. Okay, and this is for chow for cats, and then cat eats. It is twenty-five percent off. So we're going to take 14.98 and multiply by what? 28. Okay. We're only paying 80%. And what is that? Do I get a little money? But we're buying how many? Two. So multiply that by two. And that's what? Good. 23. So if you want to spend the least amount of money on a 10 pound bag of dog food, which is the better bargain? Chow. 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 Yeah. Better bargain. $22.47 is less than $23.96. Not bad, right? All right. So you have some problems, four of them. Determine the final price of each problem. 
each item. Number one, $2.50 off retail price of a $7.99 mouse pad. The math. Just show, you know, just show them what you put in your calculator. Oh, this, that's good. Good dollar sign. Five dollar and forty nine cents. Good. One big clap. One, two, three. Number two. Half price for a three hundred ninety dollar and fifty cent telescope. Good, $195.25. One big clap. One, two, three. And then let me scroll down a little bit. There you go. Third off the price of a space heater. That's an expensive space heater. Must be a masculine. $128.31. One big clap. One, two, three. Wow. Which is the better incentive, Keegan, you're up, to buy a $200 cell phone using the $75 coupon or a 35% rebate? Do you mean to scroll down a little bit? Good. So which one's the better? Good. The seventy-five dollar coupon. Good. One big clap. One, two, three. Yay. All right. Yes. Say that again. It is. A third off the price. Oh, yes, it's 128.31 off. So this is just your discount, but it's not the final price. Okay, so who wants to go subtract that? Go for it. $256.62. Okay, good. One big clap again. One, two, three. Nice. Okay. You have, very similar to yesterday, there are 20. So on the back of your notes is where you're going to work all your 20 problems. And then if you flip the task cards over, check the answers. All right. And then if you get done, come see me.